Stars among the most stunning and mesmerizing entities in the cosmos unleash immense brilliance via intense thermonuclear reactions, casting light upon the nocturnal expanse while also warming neighboring planets. These celestial giants, through fusion and cataclysmic events, forge the dense elements constituting much of our surroundings. Thanks to strides in astronomical comprehension, we can even prognosticate the fate of our sun, foreseeing its metamorphosis into a red giant. However, let's not confine our discourse to familiar stellar varieties today. Instead, let's ponder over hypothetical stars, some theorized by astrophysicists, including those supposedly comprised of vacuum itself. Come with me as we explore the realm of exotic stars. Certain of these celestial bodies possess the capacity to mimic black holes and bear resemblance to dark energy, sparking intense scrutiny in the realm of physics. Recent studies and even dramatic narratives have revolved around these enigmatic entities. In this presentation, we delve into the breadth of this discourse, from the fundamental physical theories underpinning these concepts to the most extravagant conjectures surrounding them. However, to comprehend these phenomena fully, we must establish a foundation by exploring the workings of stars in general, commencing with the pivotal luminary, the Sun. Given the Sun's gaseous composition, unlike solid matter, standing on its surface akin to standing on Earth's is unfeasible. Its gravitational force would inexorably draw you towards its core. Hence, why doesn't the gas at the Sun's surface succumb to inward gravitational pull? The answer lies in the counterbalancing force exerted by pressure emanating from the Sun's core. Predominantly sourced from radiation engendered by fusion reactions within the core, this pressure, identical to the radiation responsible for conveying light and warmth to Earth, exerts an outward thrust. Whether conceived as individual photons or electromagnetic waves, the trajectory of radiation from the core towards the Sun's outer layers generates an outward force in all directions. Though this radiation pressure wouldn't suffice to thwart one's descent into the sun, it proves adequate to prevent the sun's comparatively lightweight gas from collapsing inward upon itself. This delicate equilibrium between gravitational pull and pressure manifests across the spectrum of known stars. What sets various types of stars apart is the source of this pressure. In the case of our sun, pressure arises from the fusion of hydrogen into helium. As the Sun depletes its hydrogen reserves in approximately 5 billion years, it will evolve into a red giant star, where pressure stems from the fusion of helium into even heavier elements. Ultimately, the Sun will exhaust its helium and other light elements suitable for fusion, culminating in its collapse into a compact white dwarf. Since fusion ceases, white dwarfs are often referred to as stellar remnants rather than active stars. However, without fusion, what sustains the pressure supporting these remnants? Gravity compels the gas of a white dwarf inward until it attains such density that a novel form of pressure emerges, electron degeneracy pressure. This phenomenon is purely quantum mechanical in nature akin to the effect preventing your hand from passing through solid objects. Electrons simply cannot approach each other closely without an immense input of energy. A star reaching this juncture earns the title of a neutron star, marking the smallest and densest known category of stellar entities. Now, you may ponder, is there a maximum mass a neutron star can attain while still being buttressed by neutron degeneracy pressure? Indeed there is, a threshold of approximately 2.2 times the Sun's mass. Beyond this limit, a neutron star would continue collapsing under its gravitational influence indefinitely. Neutron degeneracy pressure, as far as current understanding goes, represents the pinnacle of resistance that ordinary matter can offer, leaving no mechanism to avert perpetual collapse for excessively massive remnants. 
This fate may befall some of the most colossal stars witnessed in the cosmos. To an external observer, these stars would densify to such an extent that only a black hole would be perceptible. However, scientists have begun to ponder what fate might befall a star composed of non-ordinary matter. If exotic forms of matter hypothetically generate pressures surpassing neutron degeneracy pressure, envisioning new types of stars becomes plausible. One might presume that the trend initiated earlier could persist. Stars could further shrink and intensify beyond neutron stars, provided they're upheld by even greater pressures. It might seem that the only constraint on their diminution would be the threshold where they collapse into black holes, the Schwarzschild radius. However, physicist Hans Adolf Buchdahl demonstrated in 1959 that any star composed of realistic matter, characterized by positive energy density and pressure, cannot shrink smaller than nine, eight times its Schwarzschild radius. The nature of these exotic stars with negative pressures unfolds in a manner more peculiar than anticipated. In the 1930s, Tolman, Oppenheimer, and Volkov formulated an equation, now abbreviated as the TOV equation, delineating how a stable star's pressure varies from its core to periphery. Should the star's core exhibit a substantial negative pressure, opposing conventional outward thrust with an inward pull. In early 2023, a study conducted by physicists at the University of Hawaii unveiled a striking correlation. Astronomical observations of supermassive black holes indicated a proportional increase in mass over time, mirroring the expected growth rate of dark energy propelled by the universe's expansion. This led to a groundbreaking revelation. Black holes might comprise dark energy, blurring the distinction between conventional black holes and gravistars, entities devoid of infinite density singularities at their cores. This conclusion sparked intense debate. Astronomers contested the accuracy of the observational data analysis, while theoretical physicists argued against any intrinsic connection between black hole growth and the universe's expansion. While the notion of dark energy manifesting as gravistars is tantalizing, convincing the scientific community necessitates robust empirical evidence and compelling theoretical frameworks. Where do I stand in this debate? If an object exhibits the characteristics of a black hole, it's pragmatic to label it as such. However, considering the potential for black holes to harbor dark energy remains a thought-provoking avenue worth exploring further. Share your thoughts and queries in the comments below.